So, how did we put a race car on pole position in the real world of motorsport? That is what this video is going to look into. And it was last year, British GT round four, Donington Park. I was driving the McLaren 720S GT3. So we're going to have a look. We're going to look start to finish. The whole session is about 10 minutes long uh, of the onboard. I'm going to run you through what I was thinking. What did I do to get that pole? I don't think there's anything else to say really, apart from let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so you're joining us end of the pit lane behind an Audi. Second car in the queue, so that's really good. We're near the front. We don't have to wait behind as many cars on the outlap. We can just get on with it. Um, so you can see the main focus on the outlap, as per being told by the team and just learning from other drivers, is, is warming up two things, the tyres and the brakes. So you'll see in this first half of the outlap, I'm consciously doing it, weaving left, right, braking and accelerating. So you want to heat the tyre up on the surface by turning the wheel but you also want to heat the core of the tire using the brake so the brake when they get hot the the heat rises upwards through the rim uh, and into the inside of the tire so the core uh, so that's the best way to do it and you can see I'm, I'm weaving but when I turn inwards I'm braking as I do it so I'm do I'm kind of doing everything the the surface and the core all in one go um, and that's what my first half of the outlap is all about. Maybe getting a bit of space as well to the Audi, but at the same time, generate heat for those those tyres and brakes. Because it doesn't matter how good a driver you are, if, the, if your tyres and brakes aren't in the window, you, you're not going to be that fast. So uh, you can see the Audi here is doing, every car does the same thing. Everyone does it a little bit differently. Some teams didn't do it that much, um, but at the end of the day we were the car that was usually near the front of qualifying so I think we were doing it right uh, and the second half of the outlap you can see now I'm starting to push a bit more past the Audi we want to be first uh, to do a lap and um, as we know dirty air in these cars does make quite a difference and the second half of the outlap I'm pushing as if I was on a hot lap for two reasons one so I know where the limit of the grip is and two um, just to heat the tyre up in a different way instead of just weaving at a slow pace get some heat in it by driving fast so we get a decent run nice uh, square run onto the first push lap or the first quality lap we're only going to get three or four chances so we need to deliver quickly so turn one brake where the pit lane line ends down to third a bit hesitant on the throttle you can see there in the, in the right hand side the trace of the throttle was a bit hesitant that would be costing us time now down this whole hill Craner curves in this car is insane, easy flat, down to the old hairpin, good braking, good line, we're a bit hesitant on the throttle again, it's very hard in quali to go out and just deliver the lap like straight away, so you can see it's taken me a little while to get into the swing of things, up to McLean's, uh, again that thing on the throttle, a bit delayed on exit but the line was good, we carry good speed, uh, down to third gear, lots of curb, a really good line through there, the curb, if you hit it right, rotates the car quite nicely and it did so through there not bad uh, going down to the chicane so we're using the the building where that finishes that's our brake reference down to third I mean that barrier is so annoying like you can't cut any of the inside curve like you can on ACC and uh, down into the hairpin love this corner down to first gear but you just got to hold the brake all the way into the corner so you don't get any understeer we we nailed that to be fair uh, if I do say so myself but that, that, so far it's been a solid first opening lap of quali. So first gear for the final corner, in the, in the sim it's second gear. Um, and across the line for the first quali lap that is going to be a 27.8. Yeah, 27.8. So solid, but there's more to come. So second push lap. Uh, there's no delay in terms of having a cool down lap and going again. You just go straight into the next lap. The tyres will be getting towards their optimum tire, uh, pressure and temperature. Same with the brakes. So turn one there, a lot better on the exit. Down craners, easy flat, all about getting the line right for old hairpin. Down to third. Again, a little bit delayed on the throttle, but it was a cleaner um, application of it. So yeah, not bad. And you can see as we approach McLean's, if you look above, when the, the steering wheel's straight, look above my right hand and you'll see like a green thing on the dash, that's the delta. So if that's green, I'm up on my previous lap or the best lap I've done. So. Um, that will come in handy later in the video, but so far this lap has been solid. Uh, uh, McLean's and Coppice were very tidy. Uh, down into the chicane, so braking at the building again, carrying a lot of speed. You can see there we clip the curb on the inside of the right, and it gets us 
a bit squirrely on the exit the rear kind of wants to come around a bit that wouldn't have been ideal for lap time um, but again the hairpin good we don't understeer at all get on the power quite early a little bit of a snap but still pretty clean and then going to the final corner we're staying off the curb on the outside because you can in, you can use it on the sim but in real life it triggers the ABS and you just end up shooting past your braking point uh, so second lap 27.51 so quick that is quick so down into turn one for the third lap in theory the third lap should be the best but you see there we mess up the braking so the ABS engaged uh, the rear wanted to come around we got a snap couldn't save it so you can see we're I think we're still green on the Delta though which is pretty mad uh, that's better that was a much better exit on the old hairpin got on the power earlier and more aggressive so we're green on the Delta going up to McLean's and you can see there's a, another McLaren there with some sort of tire issue or something maybe a puncture but we have to back out of the lap and you can see now that Delta on the dash has gone red so we've aborted this lap so my main focus now I know I've only got one more lap so I'm cooling the tires down the brakes down cause the last thing I want is for the next lap to, for them to be overheating so I've properly got out of the throttle I'm just taking it easy I've got no traffic um, obviously my mirrors checking you know is there anyone coming up because uh, I don't want to get in anyone's way but you can see now getting just starting to get weaving again starting to build up that temperature again I've got one more shot so uh, yeah a 27.5 is good I think I went over the radio and asked where were we at that point because I'm, if we were P4 I know I need to push this lap and nail it because you know we need to we need to start at the front so I square off the final corner for a really good run you'll see on the Delta immediately we're gonna go green because I've got a better run uh, onto the, the, the start finish straight into the first corner braking quite late down to third gear late apex good good exit that was a really good turn one so we're up on the Delta uh, you can't see what number but I can remember what number it was so if we go down through craners into the old hairpin down to third gear really good power transition there that was really good so going up this hill I was three tenths up right going into McLean's down to third good line get on the power a little bit early and just lost the rear a little bit we're still up on the Delta though so I'm going on with the lap coppice good a bit squirrely mid corner clip the curb in, just not in the perfect way still green on the Delta though so at this point I think I was like a tenth up and then going into the the final or the yeah the final chicane not bad on the initial left clip the curb on the right game over lap over so you can see there the dash does turn to a, a red Delta right there and that's game over so you can see how much time was in that lap you know we were three tenths up we made a mistake at McLean's, a mistake at Coppice, a mistake at the Chicane, and then we went back to the Red Delta. So, yeah, I mean, if you really, really look into it, there's probably like a low 27, high 26. Uh, we can't come in this early. I, I think, I believe I have one more lap, but I get told that's it. So this is actually an in-lap, and that is uh, that's game over for the session. So our, our second lap was the quickest. I think over the course of the season, once we understood the tyres, we understood that lap two or three was the quick ones um, lap four if you could get it in unless you hadn't put a lap together it wasn't really worth it and the thing was you had to carry these tires over to the race so you, it, it's in your benefit to save tire wear um, so 27.51 that was pole position it was pole position by half a second in this session uh, unbelievably because you can clearly see by the lap it wasn't perfect but it was committed um, it wasn't tidy but sometimes being committed over being tidy is always better. Um, you can see that we're letting the Audi through there. He's obviously going for another lap. But yeah, so we've been told over the radio, come into the box. Um, P1 for the moment. Obviously, there's a second session in British GT where the other drivers go out, your teammates and uh, or your teammate, and they try to finish the job for you. Michael O'Brien did that in the end, and we ended up getting pole. So it was a good, it was a good day. I wasn't happy with the lap. To be honest, I wasn't happy with the lap at any of the, the qualifying sessions or the rounds, but I've been, I've been told it many a time. You can't strive for perfection in real life racing as much as you can in the sim because there's so many more variables. The track conditions on that particular day were very slow. So we went to Donington a couple of months before 
and I was half a second quicker than that time and it was an even worse lap so conditions come into it the grip levels aren't always the same but it was pole so uh, I hope that video kind of showed you what goes through my mind what you have to do in a, in a real life session of racing to try and finish near the front and uh, so they're changing tyres to put Michael in the car and uh, that was it really so I hope you enjoyed that insight um, I've got plenty of footage I can do this with it's a different type of video less editing more me talking and reacting in the moment from my memories um, but I hope you enjoyed so let me know in the comments below what you thought give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and sub up to the channel if you don't want to miss any more stuff like this or any ACC content F1 content whatever but yeah thank you uh, for watching and I'll see you all on the next one